morning, students. How are you guys doing today? Good. Did you guys do anything fun or interesting over the weekend? No. No? Well, do you guys remember going over uh, our essay, the basics? Yeah. No? Well, well, we'll go over it more in depth today. Okay, so basically right here we have our parts of our sentence. We have our noun, verb, and verb or predicate, adjective, and helping verb. Uh, the noun is who or what the sentence is about. The verb or predicate, the acting of the subject, or what it is doing. Adjective describes a noun or compares the noun to something else. Our helping verb tells when the verb or action takes place. Okay, now, one of the most important things is your topic sentence. Because you want that to be really, really strong in your essay. You want to catch the reader's attention so they want to read. You don't want to make it boring. Okay, so the main, so basically a topic sentence is a claim and it's the main idea of your paragraph. It's just like a quick summary of, a, like a one sentence summary of what your whole essay is going to be about. It catches the reader's eye and draws them in. And that's very important when you're writing an essay. Supporting evidence. The facts, thoughts, or information to support your claim. Valid and trustworthy information. So I don't want you guys using Wikipedia. Um, I want you to use credible sources. So articles from the JSTOR, uh, from our online database, those are all fine. Conclusion. Sums up your paragraph throughout thoroughly and supports your main claim. So basically the conclusion is the last part of your essay. It's kind of like your thesis. Uh, you're just restating it. Basic, basic components of an essay, you have your topic, title, introduction, and inside that you have your thesis statement, and then your body paragraphs with at least three main points, you can do more, but at least three, and then your conclusion. Topic. Always start your essay with a topic. It can be argumentative, informative, persuasive, really whatever you want. You guys can really choose. I'd like you guys to choose something that's uh, kind of new in the news, you know, something interesting that not a lot of people are writing about. It gets boring reading the same essay over and over. Uh, must be specific, not broad or too general. Make it unique. Make it your own. Don't use some something that your friend's doing. Evoke thoughts from the reader. Intrigue the reader with your topic. Title. It needs to relate to your topic. Prepares your reader for the connection for the contents of your essay and reflects the tone of your writing. Make it creative and original. It is it is the initial statement that draws in your reader, catches their attention, makes them draw, makes them want to read it. Introduction. Hooks, draws in, captures your reader and makes them want to read more. The first par paragraph of your essay. Bring your topic into perspective. Thesis statement, a clear statement that tells the reader what your essay is about. So that's basically a, sum, basically a one sentence summary of what your entire essay is gonna be about. So you want that to be really strong and specific. Um, relates to the topic and title, cannot be vague or broad, just like I said, must be carried throughout your essay. So you can't just talk about um, you know, a candy bar and then the rest of your essays about uh, cars, you know, you gotta keep it the same. Okay, body paragraph. Consists of three or more different points. Separate ideas that support the overall topic. Consists of three or more supporting details. And uh, supporting details is evidence that backs up your claim. Websites, books, articles, interviews, educational information are all examples of reliable supporting details. Now to save you time and save me time, it'd be much better if you just use a credible source. And I can show you how to do that on Google. So uh, let's say uh, a pretty uh, recent topic is gun control. So you're gonna write on Google, you're gonna put gun control. And then you're gonna put site, colon, and then org, um, edu, uh, you can put whatever you want, and it will only bring up 
.org sites or .edu sites. And then you can also go to our school's uh, online database. That will work as well. Conclusion. Accurately sums up all components of the outline. Does not create new claims or information. Restates a thesis statement. Helps to draw your essay to a close. So you want to have a strong close. You just don't want to be like the end. You want to either leave the reader wanting more, like make them think. Um, also helps the writer stay on track and, can, and not veer off. Finish the essay and finish the essay with thought or quote that leaves your reader satisfied. Do you guys have any questions? No. All right. Well, this is due in two days, so on Thursday. So I will uh, just dismiss you guys. <laughs>